Good morning or good afternoon. Uh, this is this week's assembly. It is Monday the 25th of January. The assembly today kind of focuses on the fact that it is the 25th of January and we'll see why in a wee minute. Can I just say hello and welcome? It is nice that you're joining us today. Uh, we certainly are missing seeing your faces in the classrooms and school. However, it is wonderful to see so many of you engaging online on Google Classrooms, in the Teams meetings, or on Seesaw. I have had the pleasure myself of joining some of the class meetings last week, and it was lovely to see and hear how you're getting on. Mrs Nicholson set you a challenge last week at her assembly, and I thank her for doing last week's assembly. She set you the Teddy Slash Toy Challenge, where she's asking you to help brighten up and cheer up our Knightswood community. She has asked for you to put a soft toy or a, to a teddy at a window in your house so that when people are out on walks, they may see it. And certainly when I have been walking around, I am seeing toys all over the place. So it's lovely to see teddies, toys, dinosaurs, pandas, you name it, appearing there. And it's certainly putting smiles on people's faces. I have sent a letter out to parents and carers this week. On the 29th of January, which is this Friday, I have said that we're going to have a non-screen day, a non-digital day, where you are not going to be logging on to your Google Classrooms or your class check-ins. You do not have work that you have to submit to the teachers. You're going to have a day, which has been planned by the staff, um, where you're going to do activities which do not involve you having to be on a screen, logging on to an iPad or a tablet, logging on to a games console, it's going to be activities that you can do with your family, which is away from any screen. Hopefully, that will be a nice day for you to spend with an adult in your house where you do not need to worry about schoolwork being submitted and uploaded. It is a day to get away from the screens and I hope you enjoy it. I have put a letter, as I said, to the parents and carers. And if you haven't seen that, mums, dads, grannies, etc., it should be in your email box. So as we move on to today's assembly, let's find out what it's all about. It's all about Burns Night. Now, as you can see from the picture, eh, there's a few clues there. Now, if you are not alone watching this, I would like you to answer these questions and say to the people who are next to you, do you know who Robert Burns was? If you do, tell the person next to you. Also, can you tell them why he was important to so many Scottish people? In this assembly today, we're going to find out who Robert Burns was. We're going to find out when we celebrate Burns Night and understand why we celebrate Burns Night. So Burns Night is an occasion where people come together to celebrate the life and works of the famous writer, Robert Burns. Now, for most of you, you would have heard us talking about Robert Burns at assemblies for a good number of years. It is something we focus on in whole school assembly at this time of year, every year. Here are some facts. Robert Burns was born on the 25th of January, 1759. Can you tell the person next to you how long ago that was? He was a poet and songwriter and is famous all around the world. One of his most famous songs is Old Lang Syne, which is often sung at New Year, maybe not this year, but usually, and on Burns Night. Let's hear a wee bit more about the story of Robert Burns. More than 250 years ago, Robert Burns, or Rabbi, was born in Alloway in the west of Scotland. Although his father was a poor farmer, Rabbi had a good education. He worked on his father's farm and when he was 15, began to write songs to impress girls. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. When Rabbi was 25, his father died. Rabbi took over the farm with his brother. He kept on writing songs for girls and poems inspired by his farming life. We sleek it, cowering, timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic, send thy breastie. Rabbi wasn't a successful farmer. He was about to move abroad when his first book of poems was published. It was a massive hit with well-off readers in Edinburgh. A 
After spending time in the city, Ravi returned to the West and married. The money he earned from his book ran out, and a friend helped him to get a job as a customs officer. This allowed him to continue writing. Many of his new poems were influenced by the ideas of the French Revolution, and he wrote about how the rich and poor should be equal. The rank is but the guinea's stamp. The man's the gout for all that. Ruby died at the early age of 37. Large crowds attended his funeral in Dumfries. His poetry became famous all over the world. On his birthday every year, people gather to celebrate and hear some of his best-known works, such as Addressed to a Haggis. Therefore, your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. And when midnight strikes on the 31st of December, people all over the world sing his famous Auld Lang Syne. So today is Burns Night, and tonight, if you're like me, you already have your haggis in your fridge ready to cook. On Burns Night, many people eat a traditional Scottish meal of haggis, neeps and tatties. This usually includes eating haggis, which is a traditional Scottish food, as you can see on the picture, and is often served with neeps, turnip and tatties, potato. Poems written by Burns are often read aloud too. If we were in the assembly together, I'd be asking, have you tried haggis and whether you like it? Haggis is one of my favourite foods, so I enjoy every year on the 25th of January having some haggis, neeps and tatties. Now, before people start eating their burn supper, the Selkirk grace is often said. The Primary Sevens are planning to do an online Burns event today, and I'm sure a number of other classes are as well. They have been practising reading some of their poetry that Robert Burns has written. Part of the meeting I was in last week when I joined Primary 7A, I was I'm very impressed by the poetry and the poems that the Sevens had learnt. Let's hear one of them saying the Selkirk Grace. Now, for some of you, you might be a wee bit confused to what that means. And what it really means is some have meat but cannot eat. Some have none that want it. But we have meat and we can eat. So let the Lord be thanked. On Burns Night, or in Burns Afternoon, which we tend to have in our school every year, the Primary Sevens again normally host a burn supper for their parents and carers. We often invite some special guests from Glasgow City Council too. During that event, what happens is someone plays the bagpipes as they walk in to the assembly room. Bagpipes are often played during Burns Night celebrations and are instruments that are played by blowing into reeds and squeezing a bag of air. Now, most of you will have heard bagpipes before. Let's have a wee listen to bagpipes in Scotland the Brave.
Now, there is also lots of traditional Scottish dancing that happens. Many people wear clothes made of tartan fabric, including kilts. So the last thing about Robert Burns is he is a national figure and is still very famous today. He has also been voted the greatest Scot by a Scottish public survey held by the STV channel. There is also a Robert Burns Museum, which is in the place where Robert was born. I know some of the children in our school have been to this museum. And if you have, let us know. Now, one of the big things I miss most about Assembly is actually having you in the hall with us. I miss the songs that we sing, but I also miss the interactions where you answer our questions and ask us questions there and then. Now, this is a character that some of you will recognise, and he is called the Riddler. Now, the Riddler is one of Batman's enemies, and he creates riddles for Batman to solve. So, I am going to ask that you answer some riddles this week from Assembly, and I'm going to ask that you either let your teacher know the answer, or send it into school. Your mum, dad, and carer could also tweet us the answer if they know. So primary one and two, your two riddles are first. What word is missing from this? I am tall and proud. You can stand under me. Animals live in my branches. I am a... I'll say it again. I am tall and proud. You can stand under me. Animals live in my branches. I am a... It's your first riddle. See if you can work out the second riddle. I might be big. I might be small. I might be made of bricks. I am a... I'll say that again. I might be big. I might be small. I might be made of bricks. I am a... So if you're in primary one and two, you have to send me the two missing words from the riddles. Now, the rest of the school, here are your ones. Your first one. Can you solve this? Two in a corner, one in a room, zero in a house, and one in a shelter. What am I? I'll say it again. Two in a corner, one in a room, zero in a house, but one in a shelter. What am I? And your second one. What gets wetter as it dries? What gets wetter as it dries? So if you're in primary three to seven, you're sending me two answers to those riddles too. Good luck. Now, usually in assembly, we always get the chance to celebrate stars of the week. So there's no difference now that we are doing our assemblies online. If you were selected last week by your teacher and your name was read out by Mrs Nicholson, a certificate was posted to your house on Friday and it should either arrive today or tomorrow. So, this week, our Digital Stars of the Week, selected by teachers. The first one, in primary two, goes to Mackenzie. We also have, from primary two, Ella. In primary six, we have Sunny. In primary four, we have Paige. In primary two, we have Oliver. In primary four, we have Sandy. In primary four, we have Amelia. In primary one, we have Kyle. In primary one, we have Sienna. In primary six, we have Sophie. In primary six, we have Max. And the last one for this week, in primary two, goes to Daniel. Well done to our stars of the week. I have not said surnames because this goes on the internet. 
but a certificate will be posted to your house this week. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Enjoy time at night away from your digital classrooms. Rest and make sure you get to have some fun too. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.